Okay, visual novel time. Thank you to Magic for sponsoring this segment of the stream. And I'm so sorry that we had so many technical difficulties, but we're here now. Uh, this is a visual novel that is based off of the Neon Dynasty set that is coming out right now. We're going to open some right after we do this visual novel. So hopefully we'll see some of these characters that we're about to see. Uh, if you see some stuff behind me on the bed, that is all the stuff we got sent as well. If you want to go check out these links here and also retweet my tweet, that would be absolutely amazing. As uh, this part of the stream wasn't planned until a few hours ago. So any extra help would be amazing. But hello, we're here. This is available on Steam. There is a link in the chat for you to download. Uh, the one that says slash Steam K. So if you want to download this, you can. Thanks for sticking with me. And again, I'm so sorry for the problems. Right. The insides of the mech rattle as you plow through the latest patch of cloud. The fiery glow of Sokanzanshi grows closer. Moth riders flanking either side of your mech serve to remind you just how unwelcome your visit here will be. Tuma looks around and tuts. You didn't think we were coming in as an invasion force, not a gate construction crew. Oh, you think, not didn't think. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. You nod in response, the knot in your stomach. Tightening. I feel like I'm in the wrong place here, but I feel like there's going to be someone popping up on the other side anyway, but I'll go here so you can see what he looks like. Out here, we may as well be. At least this should be an easy job. You've... Um... Oh, what option? Oh, oh, oh. At least this should be an easy job. You think all this is necessary. Mmm. Mmm. Um... Let's go with out here. We may as well be. Tuma grins. You like? Yay! Such a grim... Oh, Badgers, you read the male voices. Can I have dinner? Oh. What? But that would have been so immersive. I know it would have, but I need to have dinner. It's like, you know. Okay. Time's getting on. I mean, I could stick something in the oven and then come back. Such a grim outlook you have on life. How's the music, by the way? Is it too loud, too quiet? Let me know. He laughs. It sounds forced. <laughs> the mech starts its descent. After a few moments of stunning churning inertia, you feel its feet make contact with the ground. Here we go then. You exit the mech with Tuma. An imperial samurai garbed in similar armour to your own approaches. Identifications, please. The mech and moth riders aren't enough. All arrivals must be confirmed. The cold, matter-of-fact tone of the samurai's voice tells you that there's no negotiating this. Tuma pulls up his hologram ID from his wrist display module. The samurai looks it over and then ushers him along. Next. He motions you over. You follow protocol and display your own ID. He checks it over. The name on your ID reads... K. K. The samurai continues to study your ID. I'd say take a picture, but it's already on my ID. Yes. I'd say take a picture, but it's already on my ID. He looks at you. You can almost see the scowl under his mask. Sarcasm is unbecoming of a samurai. He lets the words linger in the air for a heartbeat. Tuma coughs. <coughs> the samurai waves you and Tuma through. Next. Come. We need to get a move on. The two of you leave Sokanshi's landing pad and make your way through the cold streets. The artisans and tinkerers who made up the populace of Sokanshi take notice of you and Tuma. They point in your direction and murmur amongst themselves. 
Some close up their shops as you pass. Keep your writs about you. Her, he eyes the pointed rooftops nervously. The, hi the Hisaku uprisers may, might feel safe enough here to ambush us. You fear them? Fear them? Of course I do. Any smart person would. Knowing fear and acting on it are two different things though, Kay. Don't forget that. He sighs. <sighs> Keep in mind that Sh Sokenshi is Hasaku's main base. You'll find no love for us from the locals. They see themselves as one big slight away from turning traitor. Can you blame them? We'll exterminate the Hisako soon enough. Our superior tech, our superior tech will be their downfall. Oh yeah? So not our Kami powers? That is a very Kindai way of thinking. Perhaps they're right to look at tech for the future. Perhaps. A cloud of steam billows out from a nearby forge and blankets the street ahead of you. We have to keep this place in line. If we lose it, we lose the industrial heart of our empire. Perhaps easing the reins would help. We're always being too soft on the people here. Could we not look to the Kindai as replacements? Um, perhaps easing the reins would help? He tuts. Do you really think it's compassion these people need respect? No, they're simple-minded, focused purely on their craft and strength that comes with it. So, is strength they respect? Of course. Why do you think they haven't fully rebelled yet? They know the Hisaki. Hasaku are not capable of outright law war. <laughs> crossing one of the many small steel bridges that dot the central frozen river. River, <laughs> When a teenage boy, busy looking at some wrist hologram, barges into Tuma. Ah! Watch it, you little urchin! He raises the back of his hand, clearly intending to strike. Grab Tuma's wrist, allow him to slap the boy, distract them both with your hologram. I'ma distract them! Look at this shiny! You pull out your wrist hologram. The vibrant display illuminates both Tuma's and the teenager's face. Tuma's hand stays motionless. I think this young man's display is somehow better than my own. The picture is... clearer? Tuma drops his arm. What are you doing? It might be worth seeing where he got that and securing some for ourselves. Tuma shakes his head. He looks down at the boy. Be more vigilant. Now get out of here! The teenager bows several times and then runs off. Just as I was saying, there's no respect for us here. I doubt Hisaku would be so rudely jostled. Calm, Tuma. Let's hurry over to the merge. He sighs. <sighs> Okay. You carry on walking as you pass a shop selling intricately detailed moulds of Kyudai and other renowned kami. Tuma stops and looks at you. You know, I wonder what the locals think when they see you. You're talking about my kami? Of course I am! He gestures at the three ethereal floating sparks that flit around you. My bonded kami. The kami of innovation. You and your kami must cause a stir. It'll not be every day they see a bonded imperial samurai. Even their beloved Hisaku rarely have a bonded member against them. Do you think it's a problem? It's not that unusual. It'll make them think twice about tech. Um... It'll make them think twice about fighting us. He smiles. No doubt. I suspect that's why you were assigned to this mission. 
You round a corner and make your way through a metal archway into a courtyard. It's lit by the stream of molten metal that pours from a forge in the middle. Oh, this is pretty. Look how pretty this is. The orange glow of the metal is mixed with the unmistakable blue glow of a merge. Several imperial figures are already gathered around it, most being handlers, intercessors and enforcers, all focused on guiding the merge on the path Kyodai has set for it. The merge, a point where the spirit realm is colliding with the mortal. It's been drilled into you since you became a samurai. The importance of ensuring such mergings happens smoothly. So, this is it. They weren't lying when they said it was a small merge. I didn't realize it could be so small. Imagine working on the site on, on one the size of Tawashi. Even the smallest mergers can become warped. Even the smallest mergers can become warped. Someone remembers their history lessons. Your mind flashes with the imagery displayed during your training. Whole villages and towns, a warped merge in the background with corrupted dark kami pouring out of it like maggots from a wound. Come. I see the lead handler. Lex asks her where we're meant to go. You walk over to a robed kitsune with five tails, who's focused on a holographic proje projection. You recognize her. You recognize it as the plans for the merge gate that is to be constructed. Honorable Nishi. The woman turns, snapped away from her hologram. Ah, Tuma and Kay. You both bow. She closes her protection and reciprocates the gesture. I'm glad we had more support. I was told there'd be more of you, though. They're offloading equipment. We were sent here ahead to just ensure our team was free from trouble. <laughs> she laughs. Can one truly be free from trouble in a place like this? We are never truly free from trouble. She stutters at your face, quizzically. A philosopher as well as a warrior, hmm? Right now, we need the latter more, so I hope you're prepared. Is the merge proceeding as it should? This is only a small one. Kyodai's plans for it have been minimal. The gate will ultimately end up looking like a simple shrine in the style of our dear Imperial Court. Hey! What is going on? Why did you do that? You scared me! So <laughs> I thought it would be funny. Jeez! It's funny. Where are we needed? I think oh, yeah. you. She's cut off by a howl of the wind, followed by the screeching crash of metal. You look over to your right and see a hole blasted through the courtyard's fence. Figures clad in red garbs jump through. Hisaku! Pitch charging, get the others to safety. Get the others to safety! I'll deal with that. Just go! You draw your katana and Tuma levels his n Naginata at the intruders. Tuma shouts across to you as you race towards your foes. What'd you say, Badge? Turn my voice on. Tuma. Let me turn down the uh, Tuma. music a bit first. 
Okay, well, the problem okay. is I don't know anything about his personality. That's like, fine. Just, just, we just need a man voice. He looks yep. quite punk, like he's quite, quite saucy, you know. Well, I don't... Jesus. Well, don't do it then, I'll just continue doing it. No, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it. His voice may change though. Okay. We're the only gods here. Then we will fight till we die. Tumaru engages with two of the Hisaku samurai, keeping them at bay with his Naginata. Another samurai clad in ill-fitting armor rushes towards you. Die, Imperial scum! You deflect the blow from his katana with the edge of your own. He swings wildly again. So this is Hisaku discipline and prowess. His katana whips towards your face. Harry encounters dodge and strike. Use magic fire to lightning at him. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna say dodge and strike. You sidestep out the way. His blade harmlessly cuts through the air. You level your own katana and in one clean swipe slash the man across the chest. After a moment, the man's body topples to the ground. And still. You look toward Tuma. He dispatched one of his foes, and the other is badly wounded. Why aren't these Hisaku using their oversized weaponry? Something isn't right. More assailants make their way into the courtyard. One of them, an, a large Orochi dressed in ninja garb, charges at you. You notice that she's clearly bonded to some form of kami, like yourself. She begins to cast something, and before you can react, roots and vines burst out of the ground and wrap around your legs. She's binding me! I can't wield my kami powers! Cut the roots of your blade, throw your blade at her, call out for Tuma. I'm gonna call out for Tuma. Tuma! You cry out to Tuma, who glances over her and in a lull in his own duel, quickly throws a small dagger at the ninja. She ducks aside, but trips on one of her own roots and falls. The roots and vines binding you fall away. Free once more, you go to finish off the ninja, but another samurai jumps in your way. With a quick slash of your katana, you drop them. There's too many! Oh, voice crack, sorry. Where's your backup? Just then, a cry goes out on the other side of the courtyard. <laughs> you turn to see. Hisaku? There's no mistaking that the group now rushing into the fight are genuine Hisaku. They wear the distinctive fractured glowing armor and wield their famed oversized weapons. No! I meant all oh, back up! To your surprise, the Hisaku descend upon the first group instead of you. The ensuing battle is a bloodbath. The Hisaku's superior weapons and armor make easy work of whoever it was you first engaged with. You see the ninja who tried to bind you at the start start to get up. You place a foot on her scaly chest and point your blade to her throat. Move and you die. Yes, killer. No, we need to find out just what's going on here after this. What's going on after this fight is over. It doesn't look like that. That will be much longer. I. He's drowned out by a terrible, sharp bang that comes from the merge. There's a bright flash of light, which just as quickly as it appeared, is then pulled back towards the merge with a churring, sucking sound. <laughs> An appalling, foul-smelling wind whips around you as the sky grows dim. What's happening? I don't know. I don't she know. comes running in up to the two of you. The merge. It's becoming warped. You look over to the merge and realize with horror that it's no longer a peaceful collision of the realms, but a tear in the fabric of reality. And whatever that fabric keeps at bay 
is about to spill out. Dread washes over you as evil-looking, writhing Cammy pour into the mortal realm. Cammy are entering the... Oops. What the... What is that word? Badges! Stay in character! I can't help it! <laughs> you put me on the spot here. You just said, just start saying stuff. <laughs> Cammy are entering the Utsi Shio. All eyes are on the merge. We need to contain it. Akami, dripping like tar, flings itself towards you aggressively. Ah! You duck out of the way and steady yourself for the fight. A slice from your katana cuts the mass in half. To your horror, both parts now begin to converge on you, slithering up your legs. Get back! A void of sound begins to encircle the fight, replaced instead by a drip rumble. You see the mouths of a friend and foe move, but hear nothing. Every warrior in the courtyard engages with the kami, while the handlers begin to move towards the merge. The rumble continues with growing intensity. The handlers begin to silently chant and push back the now dull red light and foul smell. The feeling of dread slowly leaves your body as you assist with the kami. And then the sounds of battle return. It is contained. A woman stomps towards the merge, towering above any of the other soldiers. Almost. We thank you and your warriors for your aid, Rengi. Nishi's body is tense, ready to fight again should the Hisaku re-engage. Rengi, the leader of the Hisaku uprises? What's going on? We were ambushed by the Hisaku, the merge warped, obviously. We're still trying to work that out. Um... We're still trying to work that out. Let me see if I can sum it up for you. You were ambushed by these imposters. By the way, good work keeping one alive for questioning. And then the merge warped, correct? You nod. Nishi points at you and Tuma. You two, question her and find out what's going on. Hold on, why are we trusting the Hisaku? Look around. Do we have a choice? So far, it is still just you and Kay here to protect this merge. If the Hisaku are willing to help like they did earlier, then let them. She turns to Rengi, who's still staring at you. Rengi, we are grateful for your help. Thank you for putting the merge above politics. Don't think we're doing this for the sake of it. A warped merge is too dangerous to leave at the heart of Soken So Soken Zanji. Please make sure to have a better handle on it from now on, eh? She bows before marching away. We should arrest her. You underestimate her prowess, Tuma. Can't believe we met the leader of the Sasaku. Did you see her armor? You underestimate her prowess, Tuma. I've heard many stories of her in battle. She fights with great honor, but is ruthless all at the same. She hasn't fooled me. <laughs> you scoff. What? Stop your idleness. You have to work to do. You have work to do, do you not? Yes, Honourable Nishi. Sorry, Honourable Nishi. You bow and make your way over to the tied up ninja. She continues to stare at the floor as you approach. Tuma begins to unsheath his tandor. What are you 
doing? I'm going to get her to talk. With that? Do you have a better idea? Give her a chance to know you're right. There has to be a better way. Give her a chance to speak. He cocks his head, seemingly confused. You don't have to start with violence. You can't be serious. I think it's the best strategy. He stares at you for a second, as if he can't believe what he's hearing. Alright, we'll try it your way. He steps forward and kneels down in front of the Orochi. You saw what happened to your friends. Tell us who you are and why you're here, and the same won't happen to you about violence rather than actual violence is a step in the right direction, I guess. My name is Asuga of the Order of Hinami. Little streams shapes float around her. They disappear in a puff, only to reappear elsewhere. Her yellow eyes meet yours. She's scared. My cell received a tip. They were told that the Imperials were going to use this new gate as some sort of bargaining chip. With who? With the Kindai Futurists, granting them unlimited access to the enhanced magic to forge new. Her eyes lower, and her tongue slips out as she hisses her words. <laughs> Abominations. Oh, uh, technology? You don't understand. They would have made unimaginable enhancements with the help of Sokens and she artisans. They had to be stopped. You dressed like Asaku Uprisers to start a war? A merge that small shouldn't have warped like that. How did you do it? What? No, that was not part of the plan. Our orders were to just to kill the Imperials and make sure the merge took place free from Kyodai's influence. That went really well for you, huh? If the Hasaku hadn't shown up, we would have crushed you under the might of our Kami! Tuma smirks. Please, you Hanami fools. Pei and I have already killed scores of you before the upstarts arrived. She turns her head and says no more. All right then, come Kay. I see captured tree near the merge. Let's see if it can explain what happened to the merge. You sit with Tuma, scanning through hologram after hologram of the capture tree. Footage. Oh, capture tree footage. Looking for images of the merge. The Soken Shi capture tree archives are a mess. He slams his fist into the table. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Amazing. Your turn. Did you just break something? Did we lose badges? I think he unplugged his mic. <laughs> he went to ham. In the name of Kyodai, how are we going to find anything here? Patience, Tuma. We must f <laughs> we must find whoever warped the merge. Are you sure about this theory? It can't be possible. Anything is possible. In the right hands, technology really can do anything. Something that warps merges can never be in the right hands. I feel you're right. Amazing.
amazing. Amazing. Uh, while we wait for Badger to come back, can you please go retweet my most recent tweet? Leave a lurk. Spread the word of the stream. We did have a few technical difficulties at the start of the stream, so we started at a strange time that I didn't expect to, so hopefully we can get people coming back. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Amazing. Beautiful. Wonderful. Wonderflabless. Um, this really is not doing this picture, is it? It's really not liking it. So I'm trying to fix something. Oh, hello? Well, that was quick. Hi. Yeah, literally, I slammed my desk. I was about to say the next light, and then my screen blue screen for like a millisecond and reset the whole entire thing. Amazing. Wonderful. <laughs> Fabulous. Um. Right. <laughs> also, go put some hypes on the uh, post that I put in the Discord as well. Because I just reposted it because I realized I messed up something. I could have just edited it, but my brain didn't think about that. Right. I feel right this time. This is so you. This character is you. I mean, you just want to stab Wasteland. everything. You don't want to talk, and you're like, I'm right Hell most yeah. of the time. <laughs> Go on then. I said most times. Oh. You both continue to scan through silence. Ah! Oh, that's you. Ah, the courtyard! You found it! Okay, fast forward. There we are. <laughs> you watch yourselves enter the courtyard and talk with Nishi. You all <laughs> funny. It's actually you! Shut up! <laughs> Right, here come the Hanami. Wait, stop! You pause the hologram and squint at the merge. Behind the charging Hanami are two other figures. Their clothing appears to be made out of thousands of origami figures. Do you see that? The shape of their uniforms and that blue glow? Kindai ninjas. You unpause the hologram. In the midst of the fight, the Kindai stay near the merge and pull out some kind of metal device and a glass container. They appear to activate it, then level it at the merge. Moments pass. The Hisaku arrive and join in the fight. Still, the Kindai remain unnoticed. Then something appears to be pulled from the merge. What are they doing? This can't be good. How is this possible? What are they doing? How should I know? I've never seen this before. A large kami can just be seen coming from the merge. It seems to be sucked into the Kindai container. The moment it's inside, the container closes and the merge warps. The Kindai ninjas flee. Did they rip a kami from Kakurio? Yo? Those mad fools! How is that possible? He turns to you. We have to warn Nishi and the others immediately. The two of you race back to the courtyard. Nishi stands before you, scrutinizing the hologram. And do you believe this was the work of the Kindai Futurists? Without a doubt. Look at their uniforms. She looks between you and Tuma. Well done. As lead handler, it's my job to make sure the remains small and contained. Nobody should know that this is possible. Aren't we gonna do something about it? Not we. Just you. Us? Track down these Kindai and bring them in. We need to find out what they did to the merge. We also need to seize whatever kami they took and learn what they plan to do with it. Where do we even begin to look for them? Nishi goes to answer you when a samurai walks up and bows. 
Honorable Nishi, we've just had reports that a Kindai transport vessel was shot down on the outskirts of the city. Nishi's eyes go <laughs> sharp as she focuses on the samurai. Oh? It refused a routine inspection and tried to flee. A mech disabled it. He sighs. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> But the occupants were unharmed. They managed to fight our Imperial patrol and escaped. What direction did they go? The samurai looks at you, then at Nishi, who nods in response. It appears they are heading to N Towashi. We suspect they are going to secure passage back to Ottawa from there. Nishi turns to you. Well then, it looks like we have our answer. Go to Tawashi, find these Kindai, and secure them at Kami. In the meantime, I'll ensure the merge is still set to go ahead, and let the Imperial Court know about what's taken place here. Yes, oh. Yes, yes, Nishi. The three of you dip your heads at one another. You and Tuma turn to make your way back to the landing pad. Our first solo mission. How are you feeling about it? must be well prepared. Maybe we could stop and grab some technology from the armory. You and your technology. <sighs> you have carry powers. What do you need tech for? A smart warrior never turns away a useful weapon. Prepare for your journey swiftly, knowing you have no time to lose. Rengi and a tall, stocky Hisaku wielding an oversized blaster and katana stop you before you leave. Right, while you get your technology, I'm gonna get my food. Okay. I heard what happened to the merge. What the Kindai did. And what they have. How did you manage to hear that? Don't concern yourself over such details. She gestures to her com compatriots. This is Ray. I offer their services to you. What? Ray comes from Tawashi. They know both of it and the Undercity well. I can also pack a mighty punch! Indeed. I think they'll be of extreme value to you. Ray would be most welcome. Ray bows. This is outrageous! The Imperial Court could have our heads for accepting such an offer. Actually, I think it's a good idea. Tuma jumps at the sound of Nishi's voice behind him. She laughs <laughs> and points at her large ears. I heard what you were offering, Rangi. I think our two samurai here can use all the help they can get. Let me come, though she's blushing! Let me come too. You? Asuga bows while she speaks. My cell is gone. They died because of these kin die. I'm sure they were the ones who gave us false information. I have to avenge my comrades and atone for playing a hand in their warping of a precious merge. She grips all four of her hands hard. This is something I need to do. My Kami abilities can help you. I know it. She looks up directly into your face. You bested me in combat. Now let us fight as allies. Silence falls. Let me kill this fool and be done with it. No, Tuma. I think the Hanami is sincere. She could be a real asset to the team. Bah! We can handle this on our own. A good Imperial never u always uses the resources available to them. You would do well to remember that. Tuma grumbles. <sighs> Fine. I'll leave the decision to Kay. He turns to you. You know what I'd prefer. 
But what do you think we should do? We could go at this alone, but the might of the Hisaku and the knowledge of the Hanami could come in use. We'll take Ray, Asuga, both. I want to take them both because they seem pretty cool. Both of them will be of help to us. The two non-Imperials bow. Right. Time to fight alongside a Hanami. All I've done so far is crush you. I don't relish working for either of you Imperials. It's my only chance, though, for redemption. I want it to be known that I hate all of this. I'm sure you won't let that be forgotten, Imperial. Right. We have wasted enough time here already. Come, let us return to the landing pad and make our way to Tawashi. Ooh. As you step off the transport, the dazzling lights of Tawashi bathe you in their neon glow. The landing pad perches high above the most of Tawashi, with stairs descending into the darkness and smog below. Spirits in their hundreds flit through the air like streamers thrown from a balcony. You take a deep breath. Fermented foods, sweat sweetened smoke, and pollution fill your nostrils. Oh, I can choose this as my home. This looks very neon. I want to be this be my home. I'm home. Ray pats you on the back with a heavy hand. I knew I smelled another Tawashi native. Let me guess. You grew up in the Undercity. Is it that obvious? To someone who grew up here it is. That makes sense. What does? That you're both from Tawashi. You look Ray. You look to Ray and they shrug. How would you know that? I can smell it stink on the both of you. What's that supposed to mean? Wait. You're from here? How did I not know that? I never really talk about it. That could work in our favour. Come, let's not waste any more time here. You continue making your way through the bustling street in silence. You are drawn to a flickering signpost shaped like a cherry blossom tree. Its branches, each label a different district and point in its general direction. This search didn't, shouldn't take long. Do you really think we can find them? If we split up, we can get lost even easier? Or The search shouldn't take long. I admire your confidence, but don't get cocky. Tawashi is a vast place, but we have some idea where to start. Nisha did some digging and found locations where people might be more willing to talk to us. He touches several of the branches on the holographic tree. Six dots appear on each press of the finger, marking the locations. Everything grows here, even the trees. You beg to come along, and now you're complaining? Tuma zooms into the first branch. It displays a noodle bar. First location, a noodle bar called Itachi's. The owner apparently trades for information. If anyone might know about the Kindai ninjas, it'll be him. Hey! I know that place. Itachi makes pretty great noodles too. Tuma rolls his eyes. The next branch shows an enormous metallic soju. This communal foundation fountain is a major thoroughfare of the city. It's likely the Kindai will pass through it at some point. Another branch shows a distinctive Tawashi arcade. Now you're talking! Silence! Just listen to me! The arcades are hubs for tech enthusiasts. It's likely the Kindai would go into one and blend in. I have to see the latest games. It's not every day I'm near a Tawashi arcade. Maybe we will once we've crushed those Kindai ninjas. Huh? Badge? Back. Oh, you're back. Found. Found those Kindai ninjas. He zooms in on the final branch. And finally, we should visit the Shrine of Kodai. 
You may find supervisors willing to talk. That was a lot to take in. I'm not sure where we should go first. Maybe I should ask my companions? Ask to ask Ray. I'm gonna say ask Ray because she's from this place and I feel like she knows the most about it. Where do you think we should start, Ray? Hey, you know Tawashi just as well as me. But if I were these kindai, it doesn't matter how well they can disguise themselves, the communal fountain is always crawling with people and capture trees. Something or someone will have seen them. Solid advice. Thank you, Ray. So, where to? Where did she just suggest? <laughs> Fountain. She said the fountain. Okay. You follow you follow alleyways, descend and ascend staircases, and cross numerous streets for what feels like an eternity as you make your way to the center of the city. An enormous sozu sounds in the middle of a pristine rock garden. The water rushes down from the metal the large metal rocker, which is suspended in midair likely through magic. Advertisements light up the flowing water. Every 15 minutes, the rocker tilts, filling a large pool which sits underneath it. As the rocker finishes its tilt, harmonious chimes sound out across the cow courtyard. What a shame to cover something so beautiful in horrible adverts. Still, other than the Basuju district, this is my favourite part of Tawashi. We agree on something there, Hanami. Did you know that this soju purifies the water for this part of the city? An artificial solution for something nature once did for us. Do you never rest? I grow tired of your lust for nature. And I tire of your lust for the Empire. They stare at each other, coldly. Anyway! That's fascinating, Kate, but we're not here to play Taurus. Look, I see six captured trees in the courtyard. Is that our best lead? How do you plan on assessing them? How do you plan on assessing them? There will be a control point, control office point. We can request access to the footage from them. Let's find the nearest control point. This is going to be a hassle. You spot the control point. It's tucked away in amongst the paper lanterns high up above the courtyard. It's clearly got a view of the entire space and more beyond. We have to climb all the way up there. Do you ever stop complaining? It's literally you! Now listen, when we get up there, how should we approach this? It's not a good idea, Artemis. Those in the control tower might not trust us enough to let us in. Explain the situation? If we're reasonable, they have to be reasonable, right? I suppose it's possible. But which bits are you going to tell them? Because most of it is classified. Oh, you know, we have to find some people before they get away with the thing and ruin a bunch of other things. <laughs> you have such a way with the words. <laughs> I feel attacked. I feel so attacked right now. Have you considered writing poetry? Oh, look at her little blush face! You wave her sarcasm off. This is never gonna work. You don't trust me? Fairly. You climb up the seemingly endless staircase to the door of the control point and boldly knock. No response comes from within. Open up. 
We're Imperial servants to demand access to the captured tree footage. Some time passes, with still no sound or hint of movement from inside the control point. Stand aside! I can break this door down! No! Just wait! Wait, us. Fine! You knock again and are surprised when a holographic sign beams out of a small port in the door. Back in an hour. A countdown reveals that the occupants of the control point left just ten minutes ago. Such shameful idleness. He storms off and stands on a ledge overlooking the courtyard. Dang, we just missed him, so now what? We don't have time to wait. Alright, Ray, break down the door! Finally! Ray levels their blaster at the door. Old? Forgot. Forget the control point. Oh! They lower their blaster. What is it? I found them. The Kindai? No, well, maybe. You rush forward to see what he's talking about. Whoa! Projected onto the waterfall. Three graceful moonfolk stand 20 feet tall over the courtyard. A sign in front of the reeds. Demonstration. You notice shop windows on the fringe of the courtyard read. Watch this space and coming soon! The Kindai ninjas wouldn't put themselves on a giant advert. No, but these moon folk may know more about them. It seems like a stretch. Let's leave we have for now. Hmm, it do doesn't say when or where they're holding, <laughs> holding this demonstration. Bowser, you gotta stay in character! Ah, <laughs> oh, for me and straight food. say when or where they're holding this demonstration. Oh, okay, he's doing something. Sorry, I just realised I forgot some pretty important information <laughs> on my Discord announcement, so let me just fix that. I forgot to share the link to the stream. <laughs> and the retweet. Everyone's gonna get really fed up with my pinging, but I'm like, we had technical difficulties, okay? They look awesome. I got stickers with these designs on as well. It's so cool. Right, badge. Come on, got... let, come on, let's keep looking around. You leave the courtyard. Um. <laughs> Badges, you can pick the next one. Um. Strange looking workshop. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna quickly. I'm dying. By the way, Kay, I think we need to start wrapping this up at some point. What'd you say? Hmm? What'd you say? Sorry, I was filling up my water bottle and my headset disconnected. We may need to start wrapping this up soon. Okay. How long have we been doing the uh question um a blue glow frames the sliding door of this ominous looking building faint odd beeping noises also trickle through you cautiously open the door and discover benches filled with wiring circuit boards holographic blueprints and various other alien devices we might just have to postpone the quiz night for a bit because it's kind of important <laughs> 
A black and white no, rabbit I I... sits on a counter, twitching its nose at you. A stuga visibly squirms in discomfort at the sight of this room. Or you can go, and I'll continue. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm talking about that you still need to open up cards and stuff like that. Oh, I know. So... But what you can do is you can go set up and go do the quiz. And then by the time I've finished this, it'll probably be opening cards. Or I'll tell you no, when I'm opening. I'm not, no, because I'm not taking... I don't want to take people away from this. Okay, right. I don't want to leave it. Okay. I've got a bad feeling about this. Me too. But it's worth investigating, unfortunately. So much junk tech lying around. Who owns this place? A door opens and a short moonfolk with a huge, colourful snail on her shoulder strides in. Another moonfolk, with a nervous look on her face, hurries to keep up behind her. Maybe it was the input dinner that malfunctioned. I don't think that's it. No, of course not. It had to be the multi-layer cami crystal synthesizer. I think the reason your new rice steamer exploded was because you used a cami of volcanoes. Nonsense! The lava was an essential component. How else will rice be instantly steamed? With steam? Steam? Please! The two women come to an abrupt stop when they see you. What are you doing here? I dismissed the cleaners. I can tell. Imperial Samurai do all clear as killing weapons. The landlord sets to collect rent. We're Imperial Samurai. <laughs> the landlord samurai. sets to collect rent. <laughs> the tall moon folk eye you up, both up you. Uh, <laughs> the, the tall moon folk eyes up both you, both Asuga and Ray. Them too. As much as it shames me, they are with us. But they are not. Imperial Samurai. Which is some relief. As I imagine, I, I couldn't imagine a worse fate. Hmm. Why are Imperial Samurai barging into our workshop uninvited? We're the ones who'll be asking the questions around here. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, I kind of expected you to resist. Why would I? I love questions about my work. Why do you think this is about your work? Why else would you be here? I wish I knew the answer to that as well. You still haven't explained. Why you're here? They can soon, but first, introductions. What? No. How fun! Oh wait, is this is yeah. How fun! I'm Anita. No. Oh, no, no introductions. And my friend here is called Sir Joker. Sir Joker sends her an icy look. You're the, you're the worst at being secretive. Oh, you are keeping secrets. We're scientists. <coughs> of course we are. <coughs> Everyone calm down. Can we move on, please? Uh, what kind of name is Anita? Everyone calm down! The sooner we can ask our questions, the sooner we can leave. So Joker sighs. Okay. Ask your questions, then please leave. We're looking for a couple of fugitives. He looks at Anita. She seems to realise we're not here to talk about her work after all. They're Kendai futurists. Perhaps you know where we can find them? Hmm. Ah, as if I'm not exactly friends with the Kendai. Those close minded fools. She sweeps one of her arms in a dramatic gesture, knocking over a delicate-looking device which Shijoka barely manages to catch. 
I had nothing to do with a kindai and haven't for years. That's just what a kindai fugitive would say! Anita throws her head back and laughs. <laughs> oh, trust me, it really isn't. Those big headed fools love to boast. So, if you're not part of them, why are you here? What kind of question is that? Am I not allowed? Wasn't aware you're the mayor of Tawoshi. <laughs> Up until this point, I thought it was a nice place to do my work. He didn't mean anything by it, it's just... Otawara would be better equipped for this kind of research. Why not stay there? They don't understand my genius. I had to get away from there. Watch it, watch it, watch it. What's with stir free me? You and Tumor exchange a look. Ah, uh, I see. So you have no, no knowledge good. of the fugitives we seek? Absolutely not. The Stuga leans closer to you. This woman is speaking the truth. How do you know? I know what to look for. I wouldn't be vouching for someone like her if I didn't believe it. All right, we believe you. We do? Mm -hmm. I see. Arkiel, hello, how are you today? Hope you're glad, because if you don't, I'll be sad, hello. <laughs> of course you do, why wouldn't you? Great, now you can leave. Um... You're not gonna offer us tea?! We're all out. You point to a steaming cup on one of the benches. That was the last batch. Bye. Fine, I guess we'll be on our way. Dang it! Wait, no. No, oh, no. They can help me with our latest project. What are you talking about? It's quite simple. Somehow I doubt it. I just need one more piece to complete it. And what exactly are you making? Mind control. No! Classified. Mind controlling earworm. Quantum earworm, of course. What? Nothing to worry about. A small robot powered by Kami of instruction that can travel into a person's brain and control their minds. So far, none of the prototypes work. When you say mind control... Oh, well, it's quite small, so not much of mind control. That It can resurface catchy songs you've heard before, though. Sounds like torture. You turn to Anita. If we helped you, what would we get in return? Don't steal my sweets! They were given to me by Magic the Gathering, who's sponsoring my stream right now. Magic the Gathering. Expensive cardboard that me and Badgers play with when we're doing the cards downstairs. I've got a spare quantum compressed full spectrum plasma cannon you can have. That sounds insanely dangerous. That sounds amazing! Do you put quantum in front of all your inventions? Yeah. <laughs> this is wrong. We can't accept this mission. So, will you help me? We're too busy to get involved right now, sorry. She sighs. Ooh. What? I'm not going to help her make mind control. So few people care about honest science these days. Oh, well, Shajoka. We'll love to get out there instead. Of course. Thanks for dropping by. I'll leave you to see yourself out. You walk back out onto the street, leaving the strange scientist to her experiments in peace. That was an experience. Let's make up for lost time, shall we? 
The Kindai ninjas wouldn't put themselves on a giant advert. No, but these moon folk might know more about them. That seems like a stretch. Best lead we have for now. Hmm, it doesn't say when or where they're holding this demonstration. Come on, let's keep looking around. You leave the courtyard. Um, that's just where we're going next. I don't know. Do we have time for one more? I think we do. Yeah. I also need to do some opening. Pardon? I also need to do some opening. Or shall I leave it down to chat? to finish we and we'll more, open some packs uh, or one more and then we'll leave chat to look at the others we can go up to eight most probably it'll take us about 15 minutes to do the next section i think yeah uh, but i need to i'm so unboxing as well i want to open some packs run, you just need to speed run the unboxing then <laughs> we could do oh, like No, we, we could call it there. We could call it there. Been a, we've been on this for about an hour. Okay. Yeah, uh, we, do we should call it there. Yeah. Don't forget. Uh, are we? Are we do you want one more chat if we do it quickly and then we open, or do you want to go play this yourself and have no spoilers anymore? What do you want? We can open some packs. I've really enjoyed this so far though and we can also continue it another day as well it is I have been streaming for like nearly eight hours so yeah. it is getting on a bit but I have really enjoyed playing this so far you want to uh, open some stuff Marble. we can open some stuff um, thank you again to magic for sponsoring this segment of the stream we're gonna still be playing magic but we're gonna be playing with the physical cardboard we're gonna be opening some stuff hopefully we're gonna get some good boys for my deck and I'm really, really excited to see these cards. Um, I will probably be finishing this in my own time and I'll post some screenshots or whatever in the Discord and Gilded. I really wanted to finish this on stream, um, but doing all the voice acting and stuff myself means that it's going to go on. I I could wait and open the packs on another day, but I don't want to. I want to open them today. Um, so let's open some expensive cardboard. Again, you can help me out and help the stream out by going and clicking the links in the chat and you can also play this and figure out what happens at the last three locations i might even complete i might even finish this on the stream another day um but i'm gonna save there i'm gonna save we're gonna do an empty slot and we will come back to this very soon okay how about we leave the music playing in the background as we open the packs. Right, so. Um, can I streamline this if that's all right? What do you mean? Um, there's no point opening up the card command deck. No, we'll do that another time. We'll do that with you or whatever. We're just yeah. going to do packs. Yeah, that's absolutely, yeah, I was going to suggest that. Who's the pack and, oh, I'm, I'm probably going to do the pre-release though. Yeah, do the pre-release first. But the, the commander and the booster. Team booster. Team booster, I'll open them another time. The right, the com I'm going to say this now. The commander and the theme booster pack, if you pick up what Kay's got here, the commander and the theme booster pack are going to be exactly the same. There is so many, so I know. If you want to so if you wanted to know what's exactly inside those, you can go online, just type them in, and it'll come up with every single card that's it in there. Stranger Things theme almost. Kind of, but not really because it's all like Japanese. It's pretty cool. So we have a pre-release pack. You get these. You can get these with the pre-release stuff. It's pretty funky, pretty cool. Um, the pre uh, oh, it comes with a... Oh, the box is so cool. It comes with a special theme box and usually a... We usually get a special Wait. card comes with a nice little divider. We get three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more draft boosters. 
I'm running out of room. I'll just put these up here. And also we get our special limited card. I I thought they used to come oh no, it's the it's the big boxes that come with the dice, isn't it? These little ones don't come with them. No. Or do they sometimes so, come with ones? So we uh... have oh, I need to be careful because there's a, a Magic the Gathering Arena card in here that I'm gonna want for myself <laughs> because uh, I really like this pack. And I wanna Ooh, okay, so we got Hidgetsugu, Devouring Chaos. Sacrifice a creature scry to exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. When you exile an online card this way, Hidgetsu, Devouring Chaos, deals damage equal to the exiled card's mana value to any target. So this is our this is our special um, pre-release edition. You can see it's got the little pre-release down here. Is the music too loud, by the way, or is it good? Is it giving you vibes? And then you get some... Um, tokens that you can write up that I might actually use because I need dog tokens. It would be very cool uh, if there was dog tokens in this, so but I don't know if there is. For anyone, to, for anyone who's wondering what a pre-release set Oh, it does have a dice! Just kidding. That's dice. Uh, show where 20 is. I just did. So yeah, it has the logo of the actual set. It's Cami Bella logo. <laughs> Uh, well, sneakily in the bottom. Good vibes, cool. For well, anyone who's wondering about a pre-release box, so the weekend before the set actually releases, so today was the actual release date of Kawagawa. Mm -hmm. Um they beforehand a week beforehand they do pre-release sets where you go down to your local game I was game meant to get this down. earlier in the week but UPS failed me oh, and that's my play. webcam just froze oh. right what do we open first badgers you know the order can you even hear me Kay? yes I'm just talking I'm over I'm trying you. to explain stuff and you're just talking over me pre-release came to out stop. today I should have got this earlier no, in the didn't. week it didn't! The release came out last Friday and the Kamigawa came out today. Yes. So I'm trying to explain what a pre-release event is. For people who may not even know what a Can I open a pack while you're talking? Yes, you can. What are we opening you can first? Start opening packs. Always do draft boosters first. Always do draft boosters first. Okay. Sorry, I've just been waiting for this set so long. Yes. You can open up packs while I'm talking. No! Well, stop shouting at me! Ah. Yeah. Pre-release sets are always done a week beforehand where Ooh. you can literally just go down to your local game store and just play Magic. Is our token? And the set be a week before it's released. Human monk token. So we have... Un also, have you noticed the autofocus on this camera, Badgers? Yes. Pretty good. Uh, Uncharted Haven. Uncharted Haven is a bit of a camera. Choose a color. Ooh, add one mana of the chosen color. I like that. That's pretty. We have Vaulted so I might have spoken too soon on the autofocus. No! Stop! Down here there it is. Go. Vaulted Surge. As an additional cost to cast this spell you may sacrifice an artifact i'm gonna uh, we have an iron hoof boar i usually go through and read all these but we are we do have a quiz night that's happening tonight so i am gonna try and uh i'll probably stop at the ones that i feel like are good for my deck if badgers if you want to have a look at any in particular let me know yeah and I, we'll stop I oh it's a fox monk i mean not a dog or a cat but still very cute I should have got my Brio for my as well. Oh, look. His lifelink. Still a very yeah, good I was creature. Yeah, looking at that. I'm thinking, oh, I should go get that too. Very cool. Uh, Tamiyo safe. Oh, the R on these is so good. No. Okay. Okay. Debt to the Kami. Choose one. Target opponent exiles a creature they control. Target opponent exiles an enchantment they control. <gasps> wow. Pretty. Harmonious Emergence. Enchant lands you control. Enchant lands is a 4-5 green spirit creature. It's a big froggo. The Modern Age. 
As this saga enters and after you draw a step, add a lore counter. Draw a card, then discard a card. Exile the sa this saga, then return it to the battlefield transformed under your control. Mech uh, hanger. Transform? Huh? Transform. You flip it. Oh. Oh. I just had to do a couple of settings because the cards it was doing well but it could have uh, I just feel like it needed a little bit of extra malicious malfunction all creatures get a minus two minus two until the end of the turn if a creature would die this turn exile it instead phosphorus thief oh god look at these artworks bruh look at the art on these farewell choose oh. one or more I need this this can replace the one that I can't use anymore. Exile yeah. all artifacts, exile all creatures, exile all enchantments, exile all and graveyards. You, that is so good. And you, you, you can choose one, or you can choose all. Choose all of them, yeah. Oh, oh, we, oh it's a everyone, hollow as well. Hollow rare. Everyone, everyone has been going mental for this card, for a commander game, for a commander deck. I don't know. Sorry. If a creature attacking causes a triggered ability or a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. Oh, dang. Yeah, everyone's He's going pretty mad cool. Wow, and we got a hollow version of him as well. And we also got Tranquil Cove. Oh, that's right. new art. That Tranquil is our land. And that is pretty artwork. Angry Dad was just asking me when I'm coming off, and I was like, I have no idea. Sorry, Angry Dad. Um, did I put another land here? I'm trying to keep the lambs together. I thought I had another lamb. No, not one. There. There's token pile. Lamb pile. That's new pile. Okay, right. Let's go. Draft booster. Poo poo token. Right. We have Cammy's flare. Deals three damage to target creature. Planeswalker Cammy's flare also deals two damage to that permanent control. Oh, snake ninja. I'm a snake. Oh, I'm a snake. It's not as good as cat snake, though. No, not at all. Create three two two white samurai to creature tokens with vigilance. Oh, look at that art. Enchant artifact or creature. As long as an enchant permanent is a creature, it gets plus two plus one. Pretty cool. Hey, Badger's a crab. You like crabs? Crab. Ward. Whenever this creature becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, counter it unless that player. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty beefy thing. Uh, when Cammy the rest is fresh, I don't know. Oh, brute suit, artifact, vehicle. vehicle, vigilance, crew one. Tap any number of creatures you control with total power one or more. This vehicle becomes an artifact creature until it's end of turn. Look at that artwork. I can't even deal. Oh, we got a duplicate. Debt to the cam cami. Oh, that's a Wait, did we already have that yeah. one? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, badges, Everyone. you need that jacket. That would look good. Cool. Everyone can say that we want this jacket. As the saga enters and after you draw step, step add a law counter, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Exile this saga, then return it to the battlefield transformed under your control. Whoa. Menace! Vehicles you control have menace. Oh my gosh. Vehicle deck! On Onicult Anvil. And we have... A 
Oki Bar Savage. Ooh, they're so cool. I can't get over the artwork on these. They look so good. Luck is on today. Yeah, I don't. Should I sleeve that shiny one that you said everyone's going mad for? Uh, no, not really. Uh, twin Shot Sniper. Reach when Twin Shot Sniper. Goblin Archer. Oh, look at him. And our rare Ooh. is Taku Number Abandoned Mine. Add the uh, add this card. Mill three cards and return a creature. Off. Ooh, that's pretty cool. And we got a plain forest, but that's okay because I need forest lands. Forest. 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 Do you have a token on the back? Oh, come on! I'm being dunded with these tokens. Oh, look at this goblin warrior dude. Whenever a non-token modified creature you control dies, create a 1-1 one, one colorless spirit creature token. Peel the samurai. Oh my god, there's so many foxes and they're so pretty! When Seven Tail Mentor enters the battlefield or dies, put one one counter on target creature or vehicle you control. That's so cute. Wanderer's invention deals four damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Simeon Sling? Quit the monkey. Quick creature gets plus one plus one. When Simeon Sling or a quick creature becomes blocked, it deals one damage to a defending player. Spell piece. Counter spell. Oh, target. Counter. Counter spell! Oh, oh we've yeah, got a duke. No, you don't. Suit up! Chainfall Centipede? Whenever Chainfall Centipede is a, or equipped creature attacks, it gets plus two plus zero until end of turn. Michiko's, Michiko's Reign of Truth. As this Sargeta enters after you draw, target creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Oh, for each artifact or enchantment you control? Ooh! Exile the saga, then return it to the battlefield transformed under your control. It ah oh, turns into a human. Portrait of Michiko gets plus one plus one for each artifact or enchantment you control. Defender, we've got creature, Ascension. Hey, the ancient. shrines! Shrines. Shrines. Here your step and step. But now creatures, yeah. Ah, uh, rat ninja! I'm getting every animal rat except ninja. dogs and cats! Rat Ninja! Oh, Invoke Despair! Target opponent sacrifices a creature. If they can't, they lose two life and you draw a card. Then repeat this process for an enchantment and a planeswalker. You need this in your Chaos deck. That's so fun. Yeah. And our land is Bloodfell Caves. Pretty. Pretty, pity, pity. I think you've jinxed me up, Northrom, not gonna lie. The foxes are so cool. Oh wait, 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 wait. What, are you talking about what the luck, the luck is on today? Wow. That's a very cool token. I'll give, I'll give it one more pack. If the luck's not there, then I'll delete this comment. Oh, so <gasps> yes! Doggy! Great of oh, Tanuki. Yeah, sure. I don't know how that's a dog. That is literally Raccoon, but okay. Trample, channel, discard greater Tanuki, search your library for a basic land card, put it into the battlefield, then shuffle. That's not bad. Whoa! <laughs> It's a 6-5 yeah. with Trample. Doggy! He's gonna go in a pile. I don't get how that's a dog, but okay. Dakuchi Shadow like Walker. Accepted. Or Ogre Ninja. Wow. Oh my gosh, another foxy. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. If it's an enchantment creature or legendary creature, instead put a 1-1 one, one counter on it and it gets 1-1 one, one to end of turn. Kindled Fury target creature gets plus one plus zero and gains first strike until end of turn. Save I trespasses. Yeah, I guess so. Could watch some girls, but okay. Angry Dad's getting grumpy that I'm still streaming because he wants to watch his Netflix TV show. Apparently can't just wait. <laughs> Or watch something else without that doesn't spoil it for me. Uh, when grafted growth enters the battlefield, put a wasp plus one pass counter on target creature or vehicle you control. Oh. Frog! When papercraft decoy leaves the battlefield, you may pay two if you do draw a card. You're already yes. dead! 
Destroy target creature that has dealt damage this turn. Draw a card. You're already dead. Befriending uh, the moths. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what that's referencing, right? What? Umawaya. Huh? Shindu. Nani? Oh. You know that meme? Uh, yes. As the saga enters and after you draw a target creature you control gets plus one plus and it gains flying until end of turn. And it turns into a little monster boy! Little monster boy! Whoa, look at that. That's cool looking. <laughs> Lost wisdom. Aww. Generous spirit. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, put a 1 1 counter on target creature. Cute. Our rare is Enganjo Uprising. Create two white samurai creature tokens with vigilance. They gain mana and haste until end of turn. Each opponent creates X minus one, two, two white samurai creature tokens. Whoa! Oh, the. What land is that? Plains? Plains. Yeah. Plains. Dang! Look at that land! That's real cool. Right, if you if you want to speed things up, Kay, mm -hmm. could do a couple of set boosters now. What do you mean speed? Why is that going to speed things up? Because we're, we're showing what each pack would contain now. But I want to open stuff. Because... Oh, crap, look. I'm going to be here for another hour, guys. <laughs> I'll speed up once we see a lot more. Shut up, Moonfolk Samurai. We're probably going to... There's another kitty, uh, uh, box. Oh, the foxes are so cool. Whenever a vehicle you can Fox pilot. Fox pilot. And we have been destroyed. Network destroyed. And the battlefield, you may return an enchantment you control to its owner's hand if you do gain three life. Oh, I thought it said puppy for a minute there. Armatist puppet. Kind of counter on target permanent. Put another counter. Oh! Coming of the restless shadows. Shattered states era. Is there one of these in every pack? It seems there has been one in every pack so far. Gain control of the target creature yeah. until end of turn. Untap it against haste till return. Creatures you control get plus one plus zero until end of turn. Exile the saga then return it. And it turns into a human samurai. We'll trample in haste. A shrine. F touch. Walking creepy shrine. Ew, 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 ew. No, ew, ew. That was gross. Ew, ew. Poet. You're a poet, you poet and you didn't know it. Ooh, snake druid. Other enchantment creatures you control get plus one plus one. And our land is jungle hollow. Oh, another jungle hollow. Yeah. Your elf deck. Yeah, nice. I've got jungle hollows, but I've only got the old ones. These are all the ones that came in the pre pack, by the way. Hi, Buddha. How are you today? I hope you're glad, because if you don't, I'll be sad. Hello. Hi. What token? Robbed. We have. We already had this, didn't we? Yeah. Ah! Yes! Yes! When Spirited Companion enters the battlefield, draw a card, but look at him! Look how precious he is! Doggy! Going in my doggy pile. Whoa, what's that? Nizumi Blade Blesser, creature, rat, samurai. Nizumi Blade Blesser is Death Touch. As long as you control an artifact, Nizumi Blade Blesser is a menace as long as you control an enchantment. Expensive cardboard, hit here. Enchant permanent, enchant permanent can't attack, block all crew vehicles. It's activated abilities can't be activated unless it's mana. Ooh. Wait, I want to try it. Futurist Sentinel. Oh my gosh, we keep getting that one. Ecologist Terrarium. Return to action. Whoa. Behold, the unspeakable. Which turns into this dude. That's a really cool artwork. Vision of the unspeakable. Vision. Behold. Vision. Goblin dude. Whenever you discard a card, you may exile that card from your graveyard. If you do, you may play card this turn. <gasps> Pretty! When 
Blossom Prance Ranger is about for you. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or enchantment card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. If you didn't put a card on your hand this way, you gain four, four life. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. Very expensive, though. But also, imagine getting this end game. You put everything on the bit on the field. Some idiot called Badgers has a deck milling bit card build. No, you, I you don't. You pull this. Ooh, forest. This is full art, isn't it? Or like a weird border art? I don't know what this one's. It's definitely a special card. I'll take these special lamps. Oh, wrong one. I was about to do a set boost to them. I make, I'm getting through these a lot quicker than usual, Badgers, because I'm not sitting and reading all the lore, which I will do after the stream. Ooh, Samurai Token. If there's not a Papa Token in this set, I'll be so. There's no Papa Token. Dang it, Human Samurai. Whoa, Swimmer Koi. Do you want a fish? Fish! Fish! Like the way, put a 1 1 counter on target creature or vehicle, untap it, return target permanent, you can toilet say it's that. Eh. 1 no, not bad. Explosive entry. Destroy up to 1 target artifact, put a 1 1 counter on up to 1 target creature. Ready. Crab! Season of Renew, choose one or both, return target creature. Hmm. Pretty cool. Fine apprentice. Reckoners bargain. Era of enlightenment. Sky 2, you gain two life. Exile this saga, then return it to the battlefield. The, the, the butt turns into this dude. This bro, this human monk is looking real cool. Ooh, I can't get over the art on these. Whenever a land in as a battlefield with under control, put a 1 1 counter on target creature or virtue control. Discard one on earth, put 1 1 counters on target land you control. It becomes zero. Hmm. Oh, more rat ninjas. Look at him. <gasps> what the? F oh, 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 okay, okay, um, let me. Okay. Let me just... Okay. <laughs> um, so these are really special cards. I don't know how much this one from this pack is worth, but I know in pre's... Free, free, I know in previous packs, the phrasing language, mythics have been worth a lot of money and very rare. Oh! Is that, is that a foiled or is that non foil? Uh, this is non foil, but it's still the Frasian Mythic. Yeah, I know. Uh, if it was foiled. If it was foil, it would be a lot more, but still. Oh! 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 The wee boo ba 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 da ba! I got a foil swamp as well. Nice. So, and at the Swift moment, the. At the moment, that is going for roughly around fifty pounds, which is not bad considering it just came out. Yeah. Dang. Okay. There are actually quite a few Praxian cards in this deck for some reason. Is there? Another samurai token. Ooh! Oh wow! That's a U card. That is bad. Look at that. It's a U card. Is it me? It's a U card. It's your style. You like that kind of art style. Why? Because I like anime. Yeah. Noise. <laughs> Rat Ninja! Did I just get two Kindled Furies in the same thing? Or was that last? Ew. Know. Creepy. You pretty cards. These are super cute. Held the vial. Suit up! I want the goodest boy. I really want the goodest boy, but he's a mythic, so I don't know. No, he's, a, he's actually a uh, rep. 
Oh, I thought it was a mythic when I looked. No. You may play an additional right. land this turn, you gain three life, and it yes! turns into Azura. human monk. Azura! Azura buy Azura! Buy Azura! Buy Azura! Run away, trash bot. Bad as it's you. Uh, <laughs> Dockside chef, look, it's candle! <laughs> Ooh, touch of the spirit realm. When touch of the spirit realm enters the battlefield, exile up to one target artifact or creature until touch of the spirit realm leaves the battlefield. Start touch of the spirit realm and start target of realm. Return it to the battlefield. Ooh, legendary land. Ooh, seat of the empire. Pretty. And dismal backwater. Uh, we have pilot token. Oh, I just put those lands on my token pile. Another goblin samurai. We got master's rebuke. Target creature you control is each damage equal to its power. So target creature plans what you don't control. Scrapyard breaker. Bologna? Is that you? <laughs> Oh, destruction protocol. That's really pretty art. Oh, another fox monk. Oh, is that the one we've already seen? We've already seen that one. Beetle. Beetle juice. When various beetle enters the battlefield, each opponent discards a card. That's annoying. Please don't put that in your deck. <laughs> oh, put 1 1 counter on target enchantment creature against trample until end. Suit up again. Wow, we've not got a duplicate of these yet. Put one one count on top of the picture of you could try the game's vigilance to end a turn. It turns into Snake Warrior. Whoa, she looking well, Salsy. You look at her. Dang, girl. But that's a her. Equipment Rabbit. Oh my god, she's an Equipment Rabbit. Patchwork Automation. Automaton, sorry. Uh, Imperial Recovery Unit. When Imperial Recovery Unit attacks, return target creature or vehicle card from Renner Valley to your lesson regret. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Whoa, pretty cool card looking card. Looking Rayu, card. Storm's Edge. Whenever a Samurai Warrior control attacks, learn to tap it. It's really cool artwork. Is that a special one? Because the border looks all cool. Oh! Oh, yes! Oh. Yes! Oh. Yes! Foil yes. Mythic! Oh snap! Flying trample. When a when a two shoe the blazing sky dies, choose one. Exile the top two cards of your library until end of your next turn. You may play those cards. To create three treasure tokens. Dang! And a planes. That's cool. I got foil mythic. Dang, girl. Dang, girl. See, we got, we, we're making we're making progress. Yeah, it's around t it's around uh, ten pounds at the moment. Oh, nice. We are getting oh, wait, so I... many of these. Whoa, that's cool. Artifact creature. Like, is it, is the, what is this special border called? I can't remember if it's border yeah. art or something. It's called Moonfolk. Oh, she's pretty. Now we're getting to the duplicates. Ninja uh, Ninja. What's the most card? What? Are you are you talking about the history of magic? Or are you talking about what we've got? What's our most valuable? Oh, there we go. We got our first duplicate of those. I spoke too soon. Tempered on solitude. You control tax and line. Okay, yeah, fine. Uh, the, mo the most expensive magic card that's ever been sold is... Ice and Palm Ninja. Ooh, interesting. And a forest. Yeah. Um, the most expensive card ever sold was Black Lotus, and they average... A, it needs to be a Black Lotus from Alpha Series, I believe, or Beta... Or, no, it's Beta. Ooh, 
Mag Magic of the Gathering beta, you want a Black Lotus card, it goes for around £26,000 at the moment. Um, that is how much expensive oh, it is. Wow. I, be I believe the oh, most expensive card so that cool. we've got in our collection is known as the Jeweled Lotus. I believe that is still the most expensive card, which still goes for about £130, £140, something like that. And with the Jeweled Lotus, yes, I am running it in one of my decks. I pulled it. Uh, where are you getting? S where are you getting seven tails from? Is that how many tails that fox had? That's pretty cool. Because oh, I have. Yeah! Who is that? Dragon! Thank you for the raid. Thank you. How did you do? Oh, pretty. Kindred spirit. Hey, Dragon! Did you have fun in oh, Final this... Fantasy? Whoa! Spells you cast cost one less for each ca to cast for each target. Spells your opponent's ca uh, control cost one more. Ooh! That's oh, it's mean. Basically... So you can play board wipes easier and it stops your opponent playing board wipes. Um... I couldn't use it anyway. It's got blue in it. Double D, double D. Ooh, construct. Hey, dragon. I did. I'm going to make dinner, eat, then actually go to do two streams today later. Honestly, I didn't think I'd be going on this long, and we've got... Um, I have got to kind of speed up a little bit because we've got quiz night. that's <laughs> meant to be happening right now. <gasps> oh, I forgot about that. Destroy target artifact with mana value three or less. You gain three life. I'm gonna put it in my I like this card pile. I don't know if I want it in my deck, but it's very cool. Cool looking, pretty. Wow. Clean it. Search your library for a place it fl planes card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. You may discard a card. When you do, return target permanent card with mana two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Exile and it turns into Fox. Whenever Architect of Restoration attacks or blocks, create a 1 1 colored spirit creature token. And we've got Jungle Hollow again. Getting all those Jungle Hollows. Uh, two draft boosters. See, I'm I'm getting speedier. Dragon, dragon! Oh my gosh, you just raided! Please go follow Dragon, by the way, if you haven't already. We got Dragon, and we Dragon just raided. Oh my god! Oh my god! It was meant to be. It was meant with the fish. <laughs> Fish! Oh, cute! Equipment beast. We got another kitty! See, we're getting a lot of duplicates now. That's my third one of that coat. Almost a play set. Whoa! Cute! Box ninja. Well, that's a kit soon. Box ninja. Whoa. Ooh, Legendary land, full, full art land. land. Sadly, one that I can't use because it's black, but we've got a abandoned Maya. Very beautiful. Wow, that's pretty. Ooh, and a full swamp. Last, last draft. What's that foil? 
Was that? No, for? no, it wasn't. No. Ah. Sorry. Okay, only it goes. It goes for eight pounds roughly. Love the treasure tokens. They're so cool. Twisted embrace. Sunblade samurai. I still don't get how this is a dog, but I'm not gonna complain. Because I have a cat dog deck, so I still love that artwork. Regent's authority. Target creature gets plus two, plus two in dark turn. If it's an enchantment creature. Have Lovely. we seen this? Yes. Have we seen that? What are we doing? Exile target creature. Suit up! Harry and the terrible secrets. Uh, have we seen that one? Have we? Yes. yes. This is where I get confused because I'm like, have I seen this before or not? Oh. Uh, Cami of Transcenience. When you cast an enchantment spell, put a 1 1 count on Cami of Transcenience. At the beginning of each of end step, if an enchantment's put into the graveyard from the battle this turn, you may return Cami of Transcenience from your graveyard to your hand, and we got a normal land plan. But that's very pretty. Idiot pretty. Right! We're on to. Just kidding, I just found two more draft boosters. <laughs> God damn it. What? They were hiding! We've got collector boosters to open still, which I'm very excited about. Ooh! These tokens are like the coolest to looking tokens. The collector boosters I'm really excited about because they're limited edition for certain for one card where they've done different, four different versions of it. And I think it's like a 0.1% chance of pulling it. Can I put some collector's packs? The modern age. Draw a card, then discard a card. It turns into a spirit. Oh, we saw that. Dragon spirit. Did we see that one? Ooh, that's your rare. Oh yeah. I got a little bit too excited. We've got Bloodfell Clay Caves, and our rare is M Mokutai Soul Ripper. Hmm, interesting. That's very interesting. I haven't been separating the rares because I'm a pleb. Nah, don't find that. It's fine. I just can do that. I know this camera is really, really good. The the quality of it is brilliant. And you know what's hilarious? The one I was using before this was triple digit figures to buy. The one that Badgers is now having is his webcam. Oh, robbed. Um, yeah. Ooh, straight away we got a fancy border one. Cute. Oh, fricka fricka fresh. Fricka fricka fresh. Wrong shaper. I am the music man. dropped a card. Target creature gets plus two, plus two in the turn. Target creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. You gain two life and it turns into a human samurai. As long as enchant permanent is a creature, it gets plus one, plus one. Oh, I've already... Had that one? No. Yes. Uh, no. 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 Scrap wilder. Goblin, Goblin. artifact artificer. Sacrifice an artifact with mana value X. Return target artifact with mana value less than X to your graveyard. I'm confused. Ooh, we got a hollow koi fish! It's a shiny. I'll take it. And we got a blossoming sand. I can use that one. I... So, set boost. So, we're moving on set boosters. Yes, that was the last draft booster. So set boosters are going to be interesting because they always have an art card with them. Is there a... No, it's not. Whoa! Dang! Look at that! Yeah. That is beautiful. And we have a land straight off the bat. Swamp. And a fancy moon. Moon Snare Specialist. Fancy Junkai Trainee. Two fancies. Uh, pop 
Puppet, Apprentice, we've seen the Sling, Canyon, Bronze Cuddle. Yes. Yes, I recognise that one. Uh, oh. We got Toad Rider. <laughs> yeah. Toad Rider. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, if you don't control a creature named Kemi, create create Kemi, a legendary three three black and green frog creature token. With whenever you cast an enchantment spell, each opponent loses one life. You gain one life. Oh my gosh. He's got a green or blue and blue ability as well. Oh. <gasps> Shiny dog! Shiny dog! Shiny dog! Shiny dog! <laughs> I don't care that it's a common, it's a shiny dog! I'm happy! Oh, you get the random card on the end. And the random card. Moonhold. That's an annoying card. Yep. <laughs> I don't care if it's a common! I got a shiny dog! For some reason that your the webcam's gone blue. Okay. It's because I had white balance on automatic. It happens with pretty much every webcam, but it was doing really well. Whoa, okay. These art cards are amazing. We got Thornwood Falls. Heir of the Ancient Fang. Snake Samurai. Rat Ninja! Papercraft Decoy. Song Shaper again. Centipede again. Ooh, Reckoner of Snake Down. Have we seen that? Haven't, have we? Target opponent reveals their hand. You may choose a non-land from it. If you do, that player discards that card. If you don't, put 1-1 one, one counters on the creature or vehicle you control. I need that. That is pretty good for you. Oh, first of all, it worth that? Seen that one. Lizard Blades! Equipment Lizard! Double strike. Equipped creature has double strike. Reconfigure? What's reconfigure mean? Uh, you can... So, because it's a creature, it can stand alone, but reconfigure means it can equip onto something else. Oh. Onto someone. And we've got Junkai Trainee as our hollow and boo. <laughs> the random card is a token. Boo. Boo. <laughs> What are the blank ones for? Tokens. Or you can use them as like replace like dummy cards if you want to practice, if you want to add a card to your deck. Signed card! Nice. Really cool art as well. Look at that. Sometimes you get some of the art cards are signed. Clips. Silencer. We saw the normal version of that, I think. Turtle Ninja! What? It's a ninja turtle! It's a ninja turtle! Ninja turtle. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, the whole show, more, more, more. Spell kicks. Oh, yes. Spinning wheel kick. Spinning wheel kick. Some of the fire that. Have you seen this one? That's the frog lady. Our rare is Storm's Edge, Human Samurai. Ah, crab! Tiny crab, crab people, crab people. Oh, I've got about four of those already now. I've got another one. Argos, King Eternal. Actually, a very, very good commander. Yeah, this is new artwork, isn't it? No. Oh, yeah, it's the, that. that's the random card, okay. There. Yeah, I got that exact I got confused. Oh, heck yeah. We got the shiny crab. Shiny crab. Everybody look at me. I'm a... Whoa, I'm a goblin. Oh, goblin. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh, shiny forest. Shiny foil land! Oh, that's going in my deck. 
That's going in my basket. No. Ooh, wow. I love that. That's beautiful. Thought that was a cat for a minute then. Rat so many pilot. rats. Rat pilot. At the beginning of the fight, return, uh, return target vehicle car from the graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste. Return it to the owner's hand at the beginning of the next turn. End step. And we got a uh, artificial and poopy is... scrounger bums. And our random card is a token boo. Sorry that I'm holding back quiz night chat. I think it's obvious but we're not going to be raiding today because I need to have dinner. I've been streaming for eight and a half hours. I blame magic for this. This is all your fault. Oh. This is all your fault, Magic the Gathering, and your expensive, addictive cardboard. Token. <laughs> Construct token. Full art token, though. Nice. What am I doing? Dang it. What am I doing? That was a really cool card I just saw. That one. Look at that. That's cool. I'm all around the place at the moment. That's cool. Wouldn't that make a great land card, that art? Yes. I think it is. I think it is. It is. Yeah, it's a swamp. And I think I have actually pulled one. Green shrine. Legendary land. We've got this. We've got, we've got, I just got two legendary lands and we've got Bearer of Memory as our foil. And that's our random card. Oh no, it was a thingy because I've done it wrong. Right, last set boost and then we're on to the real shiny boys. Mm -mm -mm. We have more collector boosters this time than we usually get. So I must have done some good tweets. <laughs> I made everyone real proud. Ew! 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 Badgers, you're gonna hate this. Oh. Jesus, what the? What is that card? <laughs> it's horrible. Clawing oh, torment. What is Claw it? Clawing torment. Ow! Clawing I just hit my elbow. Torment. I'm looking at this up. Torment. Ogre ninja. Human ninja. These are like proper anime style, it's so cool. Explosive entry. We've seen a lot of these. Oh, a moonfault ninja. Oh, that's a, I like that card. That's a reality oh. heist. Oh. I've got a duplicate hey. rare full art poo. Oh, we got another rare. Invoke the winds, another rare. Gain control of target artifact or creature. Untap it. That's annoying. Ooh. Holo shiny rare. rare. Shiny. Saga rare. Shiny. Shiny rare. Shiny. Ooh. Really? What? Snake monk. Snake monk. And a token. Now. For those that don't know what collector boosters are, every single card pretty much is a fancy card. And we have Same. one, two, three, four, five, six of these. So I think I usually only uh, get five. The average price for a collector, one single collector booster pack is about 25 pounds. I have six. So thank you very much to Magic for sending these over to me. I will definitely be posting pictures of our... I'm struggling here. I will definitely be po... The only problem is with the collector boosters is because the pack is foil, it's harder to rip. And I struggle with collector boosters all the time. Honestly, if it wasn't for Magic being amazing, I don't think we could afford to buy collector boosters, so ruin that pack i'm sorry so thank you to magic for sending these to me i really 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 appreciate it uh we have a foil token samurai a 
and that's that was on the back. Oh, it's a double-sided treasure. Right, we start off with if I get the doggos in this, I'll be very happy. Uh, snake samurai. Root suit. Patchwork automation. Automaton. I keep saying automation instead of automaton. Go Shintai lost wisdom. Oh, we got land. Oh, we got a shiny tails of Master Shishiro. Oh, yes, we got a shiny freaking flames. Yeah! Pull off. Samurai. A weird border yeah. samurai fox. Weird border. Oh, weird border foil rat samurai. Weird border human vin nin ninja. Whoa. Okay, the foil on this, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but the foil yeah, on this is really wacky. Whoa, it looks like it's a hologram. That is so cool. Oh, we got another shot. Is that the same one we just had? Yeah, same one. Same one. Wow. We got a full art rare, ruthless technomancer. Hey, that's the freaking freaking fresh dude, but full art. Cool. Invoke despair, full art. Sorcery. Nice. Uh, we got the Kami War Mythic. Ooh. Ooh. Exile target non land. Whoa! I've just seen. Okay, yeah. what do you turn into? Dragon Spirit! <laughs> Dragon! It's you! <laughs> Exile target non land permanent controls. Return it to one target. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, we got a insect ninja. Well, the hollow on these ones is mad. This is so cool. I could just stare at these all day. These really wacky foil ones. Another one. This is a myth. That was a mythic. So you are like a mythic card. I don't think I can salvage any of these collector packs. They're really hard to open. But they are very pretty. I'm gonna try and salvage at least one though. Can you, um, sorry, can you just hold the whole pack sideways so we see the edge of it? No, 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 when you've opened the pack. The open pack that you got there. Yeah, they're not bad. No, not, not super warped at all. No, got... no, collect. Of have... Hey! Foil Jungle Hollow! Noise. Noise. Boon of Fusiju. Yeah. Pretty cool. When we were young. That's a great song. That's really good. Ooh, full art fiery boy. I can put that in my deck too. Illa Samurai. Oh, this is a foil as well. Samurai. Yeah. Oh, that's not a foil. Bet that would look well cool in a foil. This is a foil. Oh, these foils are so cool looking. Invoke the winds rare. Gain yeah. control of art ill. Um. Ooh. Grim Betrayal, full art. Grim Betrayal ends the battlefield with an indestructible counter on it. If you cast it from your hand, remove an indestructible counter from Grim Betrayal, put onto the battlefield under your control. Ooh. Oh, we got him again! But we got a full yeah. art version. Yep. Yeah. Missed one. Oh, I get him again! But the alternative art. Dude, I've got the foil him, full art him, and now I've got weird border of him. No alternative but And Surge Hack and Mech as our full art foil rare. <laughs> well, dang, I didn't expect to get three of the samurai, dude. We've got four more collector boosters to go, and then I'm just gonna run away. Sorry. <sighs> My eyeballs are starting to feel like they're going to fall off. Spirit. Whoa, look at that. Hey, 
Yay, we got the song, dude. Oh, look at that. That foil looks so cool. Pain oh, look at the, the like, matrixy look. Long reach of night? Ew, look at that. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. Ew. Badgers, you're not having this in any of your yes. decks. No. Yes. That's horrible. Yes. Ew. Yes. Ew, look at it. Ew, yes. it's horrible. Yes. Menace? Yes. As well. Oh. Yep. Dang. Oh, okay. That's still annoying. Get an X attack. Hey, I've got all three now. All three foil full arts for my deck. Snake Samurai. Rat Ninja. Rat Ninja by Foil. What the heck? It's my life. Ooh, Foil Rare. Rage you, Storm's Edge. Whoa, that's cool. Oh, Look at now. that. You got four of those. What, Foil? It's just an alternative Foil. Yeah, no, alternative Foil. Then. Silk Guard. Silk Guard. Put one one counter on each of up to X. Ooh. Ooh, or as equipment and modified creatures you control gain hexproof. Ooh, so that protects my enchantments. That's cool. That's that's cool. We got a legendary land. Oh look, is that the? Oh, oh no, that kind of looks like the art we got though. Got that. that is the full art one, one though. And we got the full art version of this that we got the foil version of earlier, I think. Ooh, Invoke Calamity. Full art, foil rare. Nice. Nice, nice. I'm not going to complain. I mean, I might complain a little bit, but I'm not going to complain too much. I mean, I might, but I'm not going to. I think I got very lucky with some of the pools already. I'm still trying to get my doggo, though. The, the goodest boy who's sitting in a throne. I just want him. I want him now. Samurai token. I really wish there was dog and cat tokens in here. Ogre ninja. Short circuit. Twin bolt sniper. Upriser renegade. Whoops. What the heck? That's a different art from what we've had. Oh, Boju. We just got it. What's it turned into? Oh. Heh. Plot. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Sure. Why not? Sure. Uh, hey, one for your plot. deck that you're building. Technically, he's actually quite cheap. So we could pick him up. Doggy. Don't want to. I want to pull him. I still have two chances. Well, three chances, because I'm not at the end of this. And he's a rare, isn't he? Or he's a mythic. Oh, he's I, a mythic. I told you he was a mythic, and you said he wasn't. I thought he was a rare. I thought he was a rare. What does Grinchel. Oh! Lost you. Who endures? You got the famous tree. Add forest. Discard those you endures. Destroy target artifact enchantment or non basic land and claim controls. That player may search a library for a land card with basic land type, put it into the battlefield, then shuffle it. One with Cammy. Oh you again. God. You again. Whoa. Okay. Wait, I had this. That's a, that's a, that's a, a better art. Like, that is a better that's art. Bit, that's it's very cool. <gasps> oh, another dragon. Th Full art foil mythic. Oh. And he's blue. Girl. Flying board. When carry Fly. the swirling sky dies, choose one. Return, return any number of target and all land permanents with total mana value six or less to your owner's hands. Mill six. I hate this. I don't want you to have this. Mill six yes, cards, then I return up to that. two instant and also to the Ill, you don't need him. He's he's I a six it. six and he's only like six mana. That's well, not. Yeah. And four of that is colorless. That's actually really good. I need it. Look at him. Okay, he's good. I need it. How much is he worth? Full art foil version. Uh, Mythic. I'm gonna try and 
salvage one of these packs, but they're just not opening What's in this a... What's Car... K-A-I-R-I, -I, the swirling sky. No, I, I can't save one of these, I'm afraid. They are just ripping in my hands. I can't remember the last time I did a stream this long. Samurai Token, we've seen so many of these. Come on, Doggo, please. Oh, there's, there's no... Crab! <laughs> Two crabs. Um, apparently, about five pounds. Oh, what? Oh! When Grave Lighter enters the battlefield, draw a card if a creature died this turn. Otherwise, each player sacrifices a creature. Wow, that's pretty. Look at that. Selfless samurai. samurai, fox samurai. These beautiful foxes. Ooh, wow. Oh my god, something Perfect. really smells bad. Hey, Toad, toad Rider! Da -da 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 -da. I'm a Toad Rider. Improvise? What? I need that card. What does that mean? What does improvise mean? It's a key, um, it's similar to Covert, but uses artifacts instead of creatures. It allows a pay player to tap creatures to pay for its um, blank colorless cost. Oh, come on. I just got another land duplicate. Biting Palm Ninja. We have one more chance to get my doggo. Chat, can we Is throw it? cheese at Shiagoraf? Send exclamation mark luck. Can we please do everything? So, please. So I've discovered something about that doggo. Yeah. Apparently he can only appear in collector booster packs. So I still have a chance. On. Come on, you are the pack to give me the shiny doggo. Or just the doggo. I'll take just the doggo at this point. Oh, we got full art swamp. I think I got all the art, full arts now. Full art lands. Guardians of the Moorball. Oh, I really wanted to see that in foil. Hey, Rat Ninja. Whoa, okay, we got another legendary dragon spirit, for God's sake. Midnight, mid, the mid, midnight sky. Each opponent discards two cards and loses two life. When put target non-dragon creature card from graveyard onto the battlefield under control, you lose two life. That's what Whoa. Whoa! Oh, that's cool. What does oh, that mean? Well. <laughs> what does that mean? You can oh, choose uh, what one. That means that he... But then why has he got a weird little yeah. logo? Because it's a uh, periphery the word it's called. Planeswalker's pretty cool and what? What? What Double one? Or? This? No. Uh, the Mythic Planeswalker's not, no. Not foil? Not foil, no. Okay, well, it goes towards £12. That's not bad, I'll take that. <sighs> you might be interested in this one, though. 
Watch on this one in this, this will cost a cost of spectrum. So I will do that. Eh, not really. Well, I didn't get one doggo, everybody. But, no. we had a really great run. We got some really awesome pulls. My deck is, my deck? My desk is a mess. I'm gonna go. Um, I usually would find someone to rage, but rage, raid, but um, bolt. By the way, I would love to find someone to raid, but um, I'm starving, so we are just gonna head on out. And uh, thank you to Magic for sponsoring uh, the segment of the stream where we played the um, the. Visual novel. I really, really appreciate it. I didn't save, that's why it's gone blue. And thank you everybody who came along to support the stream, to watch me unboxing stuff. I know I've gone on super late. I don't usually go on this late and I do apologize. I'm gonna go before my family get really grumpy with me. And also I'm so sorry for just delaying quiz night by an hour, uh, but go, go join in with quiz night. I'll probably be in there a little bit later. I love you butts. Uh, uh, just quickly, the quiz night is in the Gilded, so please make sure that you are on Gilded. And I'm going to be sitting in something known as Community Night, which is just underneath the live chat. Please click the Community Night and then click Join Voice if you do want to hear me. There you go. I will be there. Anyway, I'm going to go, so I'm going to set up. These lands. Okay. That's all lands. I'll speak later. Okay, speak I later. Love, you. love you. And uh, right, chat. We're gonna go to the credits because uh, uh I'm pooped. I'm pooped. I'm done did. I'm all done did. I'm gonna quit that. Oh my gosh, what a day. Thank you to everybody who stuck around. Thank you to everybody who dipped in and out. Thank you to Dragon for the raid. Thank you for X to Xbox On for playing with me today. Thank you again to Magic for sponsoring part of the stream today. Thank you for sending me this amazing gift. If you didn't see what I got sent, you can see through uh, the tweet that I posted, which if you retweet and hype it up, I'd really appreciate it. Once again, please do click on the links that are in the chat. You can go play the Kamigawa visual novel that is based off these cards for free on Steam right now. Please go ramp up their played numbers. Go play it yourself. Let me know who your favorite character is at the end of it. Uh, it's been a great day, but I'm gonna go now. I will leave it down to host roulette. Thank you to the School of Sea so Tea Sorcery and Pillows and Polymorph. You go above and beyond to support the stream. Make sure you're following me on my socials that were posted in the link earlier because uh, I have I, I'm gonna be on those over the weekend. I'm gonna go. I've been streaming for like nine hours. I think it's time for me to go. I love you, butts. Please look after yourself. Have a fantastic win weekend. If you're in the UK, stay safe. It's scary out there with the storms and stuff. And if, if you're anywhere, stay safe. I love every single one of your butts very much. You don't just deserve a life. You deserve a happy, healthy, and fulfilled life. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.